Greetings, my friends. We have a really amazing forest monk here for this last month before we leave for Hawaii. And it's such a joy to work with him. It struck me the other day. We sat down in our gratitude circle that we do before every session. And it struck me that in a way, this is possibly the end of an era for me. For la next year, at least, we won't be having forest monks here. There will be some, some other options if people are looking for a long-term kind of experience, but, but we won't be having the forest monk program next year because we'll be doing our 100% project in Hawaii. And one of the things that's really fed this channel has been watching the experience of the forest monks. What happens when the modern human leaves their technology behind, goes out into the forest, and spends a considerable amount of time there. To witness those changes has been remarkable, and I have learned tons, and I've tried to share as much as I can of that with you. One of the things that has been a consistent, repeated pattern that the civilized human brings out into the woods with them, that's a liability, is the habit of waiting. Our program here is structured so that you work with somebody one day and then the next day you have off as a solo day or a free day or an integration day to the concept is that you use that day to practice the skills of the day before and the skills that you've been building and the practices you've been building to really try to solidify them in your life. However, what often happens is that people use those days in waiting. Waiting for the next day to come and the session to happen when they get to meet with myself or Dustin or Brad. This waiting is something we've all learned pretty well. And it's very much distinguished from being present moment. So for instance, I'm in a line. If I am in a line waiting for to get up to the counter, let's say, to get my driver's license uh, renewed. In a state of waiting, my mind is projecting onto the goal. I want to get up there so that I can get out of here so I can get on with my life. And so my state of being during this period of my life, because this is actually part of my life here, this next 10, 15 minutes waiting in line. Spent in waiting, I spend that time in agitation, in frustration, why isn't this line going so fast? And what I'm doing is, of course, actively training myself into a state of mind. I'm actively training myself into frustration, into anxiousness. Ah. See how that works? Every moment, one of the forest monk tenants, every moment is a moment of training. Now, what if instead I'm in this line, but I'm not waiting in line. I'm in this line. I'm here, I'm present. I might strike up a conversation with the person in front of me or behind me. I might practice my peripheral vision, my awareness. I might go into a state of meditation. In this case, I am actively there in that moment, this 10, 15 minutes, that is, again, a part of my life. And I'm using those moments to build myself in a positive way, to increase my mindfulness, to increase my ability to be in peripheral or to be aware, to increase my sociality by talking to people. Waiting is one of those things that just seems normal. We do it in our world. It's expected. We're always waiting for this, waiting for that. And yet we don't realize how powerfully it negatively impacts our lives. Sometimes towards the end of a forest monks program, 
they start to get pretty ready to go. They're ready to go home. They start thinking about it. And they might spend the last week waiting to go home. When they could be using that week, that's a big sliver of their life, big sliver of their program here. They could be using that week in training, forging their body, forging their mind, forging their spirit. Instead, it's spent in waiting. In waiting, it is not just something we do. Remember, it's an active, active way of being. It's a habitual way of being too. And the more we actively develop that habit of waiting, the more we just are waiting and waiting and waiting, eventually just waiting to die. We are at work and we're waiting to get home. And when we get home, we're waiting for dinner to be made. And then when we sit down to dinner, we're waiting for dinner to be over so we can get to Game of Thrones or whatever we're going to watch on TV. And then we watch that and that puts us into a state of distraction. And then it's time for bed. And then we wake up in the morning and the cycle repeats and it repeats and it repeats. And how often are we just taught that waiting is the thing to do? It's the whole structure, in a way, of the life that's put before us. Go to school, just kind of waiting to get to college, and then that's really just something that's there in order to get to your career. And you don't really get to enjoy life until you turn 67 and you retire. You've waited all that time to be able to finally say, ah, oh, I can enjoy the fruits of my labors. But we've been taught so much during that time, 67 years, we've trained ourselves in waiting, that there, even in our retirement, often for us, we're not able to enjoy those moments. We find ourselves always in that waiting game, trying to get to the next moment, the one up there that's going to be better, when we're feeling better, when our back doesn't ache, when we have more money, when we are in a better relationship, when we've managed our depression, when, 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 always out there, never here. But here's where it is. It's the only place we ever are. And so we need to cultivate this here-ness. Never wait. The next time you catch yourself waiting for something, come present. Say, how can I seize this moment right now? It might be a moment where you're just sitting there in line. It might be a moment when you are in pain. You've got a really bad headache and you're just waiting for that headache to be over. It could be all kinds of negative things, but those are still moments of our lives. And if we develop that habit of letting them pass by, our life becomes lost. So this is it right now. This is the moment. Not waiting till this video is over and then you can go on to some other better thing, right? Waiting for this, for this, for this. Seize this moment. This one. And see what you can drink out of it. You're starting to develop then that habit of being here now. You're developing that habit of looking at every situation you're in and saying, wow, how can I really get the most out of this? I don't have to just sit here in line. I can talk to this person in front of me and learn something, engage with them. Who knows where that conversation will lead? This world is so filled with wonders. It's so filled with mysteries waiting for us to uncover them. But we must be engaged. We must be engaged with life. Now's the moment, my friends, to seize this moment, this moment of life. Share in the comments. A moment recently that you seized, that you transformed from waiting into being. And what did you find? What did you discover in that moment? Can't wait to hear what you have to say. Love to you all.